3.30 p.m. in March, Monday, March the 7th, 2022. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you here. I'd also like to welcome our, our new member, Hector Tito Gomez, to our board uh, and for being on the first meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. And um, the first item on the agenda is the roll call and possible action to excuse any of the absent members. Here. Here. Present. Here. Present. I make a motion we excuse our absent board members. I'll second that. Aye. 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 January 17th, 2022, regular call meeting. I make a motion we accept the minutes from January 17, 2022. Okay. Moved by, I'm in second by member uh, Martinez. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against, same sign. Motion carried. Item B, revenue and expenditure report for the month of January 2022. <clears throat> Good evening, gentlemen. Michael Furnick, Golf Course Manager, Tierra del Sol. Um, your revenue and expenditure report for January of 2022. Revenue at um, $87,867 versus expenses of $90,816 for a net loss of the month of $2,949. In particular, notes should be taken a look at. If you look at January from this year to January of last year, so one pretty much um, same revenue wise um, um, with the main thing of the expenditures being um, being decreased in this January compared to last January. So move. I'll second. Aye. Aye. Golf course operation. Yes. Status report for the month of March of 2022. Yes, sir. Um, status report. Uh, golf course, uh, really quick, I'll touch upon a few things. Uh, we continue applying the Greens Fertilizer Program um, bi-weekly and monthly. Um, irrigation electrical issue, last time we met, uh, we were having an issue with that on holes one, two, and three, and that has since been repaired uh, and fixed. Um, also, last time we met, uh, we had a question about December's weather as far as compare comparable to 2020. Uh, December of 2021, we we had a total of um, 20, uh, 27 days over 70 degrees versus 24 degrees, uh, 24 days prior year. January's weather compared to 2021, total of 16 days over 70 degrees versus 21 days. So uh, even though we, even though January's numbers revenue were was about the same um should be noted that it could have been a whole lot better if we had mother nature uh, help us out um applying uh continuous treatment of our ant mound so on uh we pair we repaired the cattle fence behind five green and along six due to horses breaking through and causing damages on holes four five and six we've contacted a tree trimming service uh to cut down and remove some trees that did not survive last year's freeze. Um, also in case you did not hear about this, but we did have some questions from um, our um, homeowners association, plantation homeowners association about um, irrigation issues. The water treatment plant shut us down for a total of six straight days without notification. This caused our irrigation lake to lower, which caused our filtration system to shut down. As a result, uh, the irrigation system lost pressure, 
which in turn caused some numerous heads to leak around the golf course, so on. So we did have some calls on that, that and that has been since remedied. The um, Winter Texan seasonal membership has uh, reached pre-COVID numbers as of January 31st. We had 157 single and couples versus 160 in 2019. And finally, our upcoming tournament schedule for the uh, month of March. We have had a high school tournament here this past Friday, followed by the 15th annual Valley View ISD scholarship fundraiser uh, Thursday. On this uh, March 17th, we have our Winter Texan Couples Fun in the Sun, followed by Hidalgo County Lions Club on Saturday, March 19th. And then we are hosting districts this year. So we have our high school pre-district tournament on Friday, March 25th, and then on Monday, Tuesday, the 28th and 29th. And that's pretty much the status report for uh, this month. Hmm. With the uh, director of uh, the, uh, uh, no, I did not. I found out through this through F Efrain, and he had talked to he had talked to our course superintendent had talked to them, and that's how that's how we started noticing that we weren't getting any water, and that this is not the first time, commissioner. So we need to open up better lines of com communication between us and them, so we are notified of when that happens um because um with what happens with our current irrigation system it loses pressure the heads don't seal correctly then we got little water spouts coming up all over the place but yes we will work on um, better communication in regards to that which um, the sprinkler head liquid uh, leakage was ours was 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 ours due to the fact that um, the, the irrigation system lost pressure because we weren't getting our water from the uh, from the plant. This, yeah, for six, six yeah for six straight days, and we don't if we don't get notified, we continue to pump. That's what we do. So move. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, from sign. Um, item B is a status report on the golf course renovation project. We're going to go on executive session for this. Um, so, uh, in accordance with Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, Section 552.071, 552.071. Zero eight seven. The golf course advisory board is hereby given notice that it's going to executive session to discuss items listed in the public portion of the agenda. The time being five thirty-eight. We're now back in uh, open session. The time being uh, six fifty-four. On item B, um, there's no action to be taken. It was just a of report, so uh, there's no. Not no action to be taken. At this time, I entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. No second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Dancing sign. We're adjourned. Thank you very much.